Hello everyone and welcome to a video in which I'm going to be talking about Splatoon Esports. Now this isn't a topic that people are talking about as much at the moment, but they probably will be uh, into the future because I feel that it's a scene that's upcoming and probably a lot of people will be playing it and be involved with it in the future. So in this video I'm just going to be talking about the scene in general, how it's evolving, what it looks to be like in the future, how Nintendo is supporting it, etc, etc. And also comparing it to other, other games and seeing how the Splatoon esports scene is also different to the esports scenes for other games. The gameplay in the background, you can find the gameplay in the links in the description. One is more esports focused, one is just Splatoon in general. So you can get some ideas, if you don't know what Splatoon is, of what Splatoon is, obviously. And, that, and that'll just be in the background. Links are in the description to the videos that I got them from. So what kicked this all off really is in the new trailer for the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo showed a huge esports match for Splatoon happening. This looks to be their vision for the future and obviously Nintendo seem to want uh, a big esports scene evolving around Splatoon because it will obviously generate more money. Nintendo haven't been necessarily involved that much in esports in the past. Uh, the most popular esports Nintendo game uh, has historically been Super Smash Bros, but maybe Splatoon in the future will grow and overtake Super Smash Bros as Nintendo seem to be very optimistic for this game's future and what will lie ahead. But yeah, Nintendo is supporting the Splatoon esports themselves. There have been tournaments in 2015 and 2016, and they've attracted many Japanese players, which is quite a big difference to usual esports. Japanese players seem to be uh, semi-dominating this one, as far as I know, which is uh, is different because usually Koreans dominate this kind of esports e scene. Um, and Japanese Japanese people don't really have a history of esports, and nor does any other country really, other than Korea. So it's nice to see uh, other other nationalities actually being able to get in on the esports game instead of just Korea dominating everything. And this might actually be the first game to put Japan on the map in terms of esports, really, because in the past there have been games like Super Smash Bros. and Street Fighter and all that that have come out of Japan, but. Uh, the owners didn't necessarily want the game to be used for esports, the, the community just kind of did that themselves and that's usually how esports games evolve, right? Now, I think in the future, uh, esports games will evolve more based upon the owners of the game and the creators of the game actually encouraging an esports scene around it to evolve. The owners need to want the esports scene to exist uh, for the esports scene to be able to exist because games these days that are esports require a lot of extra features that the casual games wouldn't have like they require competitive matchmaking etc etc obviously that would mean that Nintendo would have to support it a lot and they seem to be supporting it in terms of the West there doesn't seem to be much coverage in terms of tournaments for Splatoon so far it seems to mostly be situated in and around Japan obviously most of the players are coming from Japan but there are some overseas players that have joined in as well so far but obviously I'm not looking too hopeful for the West uh, in the near future maybe if the scene gets big enough in Japan Nintendo will decide to expand tournaments in the West but if you are a player like me who is in the West don't look forward to tournaments happening around here and if you really want to get into the scene yourself you should probably consider saving up for plane tickets to go to Japan because there aren't going to be many tournaments in the area that you're living. If Nintendo do add support for the esports scene and the esports scene actually takes off for Splatoon it could be a good move for Nintendo. It could lead to increased sales in the Wii U, which has obviously been widely considered as a semi-commercial <laughs> flop uh, in terms of Nintendo. It hasn't gone very well for them so far, but the Wii U might actually be able to, you know, I think I think it's made a profit already, but it might be able to make e an even bigger profit and kind of become uh, one of those classic, I, I don't know how to how to put it, one of those more used consoles in, in the current market and obviously more people will probably buy it if the esports scene really takes off and Nintendo puts enough support in. Currently the game is very fun and it has very good base mechanics and might actually become an esports classic in the future and lead to increased console esports popularity in general as most esports are currently played on the PC. Now I realise this is quite a big statement but if Nintendo do really encourage Splatoon uh, and, and foster the esports scene for Splatoon as they've been trying to do with Super Smash Bros as it earns them a lot of money obviously then maybe the console esports scene will take off more in general and especially if console es console players not console esports players uh, if console players get a more competitive mindset like PC players because a lot of PC players are very competitive whereas on console it's seen as a more casual uh, kind of platform to play on 
But if, if console players get a more competitive mindset and there are more people willing to play games on console competitively, then maybe in general the console esports scene will really take off. This might only be in Asia to start off with, but I'm thinking that eventually it might move to the West. Who knows? This is all just speculation, but hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.